I know how hurried and rushed you can feel sometimes. It seems like so many of us have such busy lives. Well, today I have some wonderful plants that suit your lifestyle. And if you stick around, I'll show them to you in just a minute. And our lives are busy and hectic. In fact, the studio was so busy and hectic this week, they sent us outdoors. Well, the plants love it anyway, so here we are. I know a lot of you love to keep a beautiful home and that plants are naturally a part of it, and some people feel that they just don't have the time to take care of plants. Well, these bromeliads that I'm going to show you today are a wonderful solution to that. And the first one I have here has this wonderful feathery and light flower on it that'll actually last for a month. And you really don't have to fool with it much at all. And its name is Vresia erythrodactylon vista. You can try and memorize that, but I prefer reading the labels. Um, they are really easy to grow. You don't have to fool with them much at all. They're very flexible as far as the light goes. So you can put this almost anywhere you'd like in the house. And the next one I have to show you is this. Scusmania Capoho Fire. And it has a striking red flower and you can see this yellow coming up in, in here actually these are the true flowers the red is called a bract and it actually holds the flowers and it too will stay nice and colorful for quite a while for you the next one that i have to show you would make a lovely coffee table plant here it is and this one's called Neo Regalia Van Dorm. Now it does have a flower in it that is coming up out of the center, but usually it's used for its wonderful, magnificent foliage with the red and pinkish streaks in it and its nice creamy and white leaves. Now bromeliads mostly take in water through their cups. And this Neo Regilia has an easy to see cup right down in there. What you want to do is keep water in that most of the time. It's okay if it dries out from time to time, but that's its main source of water. And because of that, you can let the plants dry out quite a bit in between waterings. Go ahead and water it when the soil's dry about a half an inch or so below the soil line and then give it a thorough soak. And you'll find that that really won't happen all that often. And the next one I'm gonna show you is really cute. Here it is. This one is Talansia cyanea anita. This one you could put in your bathroom or your kitchen window to brighten things up. It has a tongue-like flower on it. Actually, it's the bract. Its true flower is like this little orchid-colored flower poking through, and it'll send a few of those up as it grows out. But it should stay nice and exotic looking for you for quite some time. And the last one I have to show you, this one's very unusual looking. It's also a little bit mean. Its name is Ecmia Chantanini Samurai. And if you need some extra security in your house, you may want to put this one right near the front door because it has some mean edges on it. They're all little prickers all along the side here. And its bract is a wonderful yellow orange. And it too will stay very nice for a month, two months. Sometimes I've even seen them go as long as three months. And again, you want to keep the water in the cup and then just let it dry out 
before you water it. So you don't have to pay too much attention to them and there'll be a striking display in your home. When you have friends over, they'll definitely notice these plants. One other thing you can do, if you want to fuss with them a little more, if it turns out you have some extra time, they love to be misted. And again, this is an option, but they'll love it if you do it. And you just spray them like this. Thanks for watching and take good care of your plants. Bye bye.